Seed, fertilizer, and other granulated dry products are dispersed through an attachment called a spreader. Liquid products are sprayed through nozzles mounted on booms below the wings. On helicopters, they're located below the cockpit and above the skids. Ag aircraft nozzles are designed to disperse liquids within a certain droplet size range. Droplet size is very important. If the droplet size is too small, atmospheric conditions such as wind may move it off target. Droplets that are the proper size reach the intended target. Controlling the speed of the aircraft, the pressure of the spray system, the angle of the nozzle, and the opening size of the nozzle cause the spray to land within the targeted area. Software tools that enable an ag pilot to apply the proper droplets based on weather conditions and equipment are used commonly in the industry. When insects, weeds, or diseases are detected that require the services of an ag pilot, information is provided to the aerial applicator concerning the type of crop, the problem that requires treatment, and the size, shape, and location of his field. The pilot determines if there are any environmental concerns in that particular area, such as water supplies, buildings, pastures, or wildlife habitats. He must also know what crops are being grown in adjacent fields, as well as obstacles he must avoid, such as wind turbines, power lines, and towers. The pilot makes note of all these factors on his work order or field map. Weather conditions play an important role in determining when the ag pilot may apply a product to a field. Rain, fog, and wind are weather conditions that may hinder the pilot's opportunity to make an application. As soon as weather conditions are favorable for application, the aerial applicator carefully calculates, mixes, and then loads the hopper with the prescribed amount of product. Although crop protection products differ across the country, the Ag Pilot uses only those that are approved and labeled by the Environmental Protection Agency, and furthermore, labeled in his state and county. The Environmental Protection Agency regulates pesticide registration and use. Nearly 900 scientists and program officials in the EPA's Office of Pesticide Programs make sure that products are properly registered and comply with federal law. These experts are responsible for ensuring that pesticides cause no unreasonable adverse effects to the environment and human health. Crop protection product registrations can take up to 8 to 10 years to complete and must undergo approximately 120 different types of human and environmental safety tests costing between $160 and $200 million each. Crop protection products are monitored by the Environmental Protection Agency and the Food and Drug Administration to ensure the safety of our environment, labor force, and food. To properly use and avoid overexposure to crop protection products, manufacturers place labels containing use instructions to protect the workers who mix and load the products into the ag aircraft. The labels include the type of clothing as well as masks, gloves, and other protection they should wear when mixing and loading the aircraft. Aerial application workers closely follow these instructions. The instructions on the product labels provide the pilot with accurate and current information about how the products may be used, such as the types of crops, the proper dosage, and the effective number of gallons per acre. Pilots follow these labels carefully to protect the environment. After takeoff, the pilot locates the field to be sprayed. Prior to treating the field, the pilot visually checks for obstacles including towers, wind turbines, power lines, poles, trees, irrigation equipment, fences, variations in the terrain, nearby houses, and sensitive areas such as surface water and wildlife habitat. In some cases, a trained ground observer will ensure that field conditions are safe for a pilot before the aircraft is sent to a field. Typically, ag planes are equipped with a smoker. This system pumps a small amount of light oil into the exhaust system of the plane's engine. When it burns, the resulting smoke gives the pilot an indication of the speed and direction of the wind. Once it is determined that all proper procedures have been conducted and conditions are appropriate to make an application, the pilot aligns the aircraft for field entry. As the pilot prepares to make a pass over the field, also called a swath, he levels off at a low altitude and once directly over the target area, opens his spray valve or spreader gate to dispense the product. 